epic performance, jammed full of emotion against Glasgow. Roman Poit is our referee, a 77th European game and coincidentally in charge here a year ago. Leicester on a, a decent run at the moment, they've won six of their last seven. Monster haven't been beaten since the tragic passing of Anthony Foley. An extraordinary transformation of this side, now so confident, so full of purpose. And they will get us underway. It is time for these two to lock horns to light up this grand stadium on the most glorious of afternoons in Limerick. Tyler Blandahl lifts it on its way. Taken in by Owen Williams, playing at 12, of course, combining with Freddie Burns in the Leicester midfield. And this is Zebo, eager to make the most of a first chance to run into those open spaces. Stand up. So brilliant for Ireland through the course of the Autumn Internationals, as was Murray, Blayendahl to Scannell, that's blocked by Beetham. And Blayendahl tidies up the New Zealander who pulled all the strings so magnificently in that famous match in October against the Warriors. Big pressure, big pressure. Murray. Use it, Red. Organising under a little bit of pressure here from Roman Poitz. Stander again on the carry, hammering his way into Mulipola. No, Red. Early tester from Murray, that's gone forwards from Beetham. But uh, Roman Potts happy enough that that was gathered in, or is he? Surely he'll call them back. Well, well, straight away, you know, we're getting a taste of what, what the physicality is going to be like today. Uh, Munster with it, with all the possession and uh, carrying it in very well but um, you know the uh, the defense from Leicester has been has been pretty good so far and uh, I think when you think back of those two two victories that they got uh, over the years here at Thoman Park you know that was, that was the main feature of their game you know, their physicality and uh, and certainly that's, that's the way they've started so there the scrum stats Munster have been going so well in this department has been the cornerstone that and a very well functioning line out and as you were mentioning David the defense really watertight under the uh, the new instruction relatively new instruction of Jack Nina but yeah, and for me this is going to be a big part of the game today I think obviously we've, we've heard the changes uh, before, before the game and uh, you know I think it's, it's it's going to be a big test for, for John Ryan but you know I think he's going to, he's going to give it to us just looking back at the first play and Blaine Dal watching him in the warm he's not the quickest 10 he doesn't attack the line he doesn't really take the ball to the line but he does make his decisions really late that look coupled with Leicester's really small defense in terms of width means they have to blitz on the outside if you can throw that pass over the top you're away around the corner. So like this guy finding the corners this afternoon. Manu Tuolangi coming back, stood in the 13 slot. He'll want to blitz out the line at every opportunity. Like making him come and chucking the ball over his head. And I'll turn Beetham, who's calm under pressure. Tigers regather just outside their 22. First bit of meaningful possession for them, Burns. Early blast from Ellis Genge. Brought off the bench. Something of a late decision this afternoon. And the Tuolangi swinging the ball onwards. This is George Worth. Very much a rookie at this level. No Matt Tate available, no Talusa Vayanu. And that's way too far from a Tigers perspective and Potentially an opportunity for Sweetenham. Conjuring something here, Thompson. Stay there, Red. Ben Youngs, who will be closely marshalled, no doubt, after his exploits in the November internationals. The ball is loose. It's been. Swept up here by Tommy O'Donnell. A little battle for territory in these early exchanges. On, on. Burns underneath it. 
sweep them right up on him. Munster quite happy to just turn the pressure with the kick. One of the stats, though, leading into the game is Leicester deprived the opposition of ball more than any other side currently. Only 16 minutes on average, so Munster may have to start going through the phases if they want to get some patterns of play. Maybe a bit too early for that, though. Zebo. Well tackled by McCaffrey. Stander, though. Brilliant from Stander. Bustling run through the middle of the ruck. Murray on his shoulder. Gleyendahl, it's gone backwards, says Poit. This is Scannell. Monster closing in. Scannell again, it's Niall this time. There's two injuries down. CJ Sander has taken a big hit in, the, in that carry. And there's also, a, I can't quite see, but there's a Leicester player down as well. In the meantime, McCaffrey's doing his level best, his slow up possession. And he's done enough for the Tigers. Strong work over the ball from the Tigers number eight, but desperate work from the Tigers who were just splintered and all at sea from this bust from CJ Stander. Yeah, I mean, we know what he can do. We've seen him with Aaron, we've seen him with Munster, and he's a fantastic ball carrier. And, uh, you know, it, it definitely seemed like both teams were, were just nullifying each other, but he managed to find a bit of space around the breakdown. With fantastic hands there uh, from Jack Ottaude. He's been fantastic for Munster ever since he's arrived. Uh, and unfortunately, we, we're going to have to say goodbye to him in, in a month or so. But yeah, CJ Stander, great carry. Just thought maybe he could have given it a fraction earlier, but I think Conor Murray was always marked there. And, uh, you know, he's always going to be tackled by Beaton. Austin, what have you found? Well, we saw it in the warm-up, actually. Munster practising defending this against Leicester, getting that guard in place, and they've done it against Leicester. Genge is way too far away as the first defender, 10 metres away. Sander sees that, he goes through the space. Leicester overcommit to the breakdown, thinking it's a turnover, but then the work rate of Beetham is absolutely fantastic. It's only his pace that makes up that ground, otherwise that's a try under the post for Murray. Possibly if that ball had just gone a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit more uh, forward in front of Conor Murray, he might, he might have been able to check his... his, his uh, his speed there and, and uh, make it a little bit easier for Beatham to catch him. Well, the Tigers' defence early in the season was a cause of great concern. Scott Hansen, of course, paid for it by losing his job, but um, they have been working very, very hard at it to the point where they have tightened things up immeasurably it was in around, recent weeks. It was around that specific area, getting the guard in place quickly and then organising your defence from that point out. You allow spaces around the breakdown, you're going to get punished. Tom Youngs, man of the match against Rassing at Welford Road. Missed out on the East Midlands derby last week, but restored to the Tigers' setup. That's great defence. That's great moral defence from Monster. One stop, one green. Keith Hills. Had a memorable day in many different ways. In that match against Glasgow, of course, the fateful red card. Kill coin on the carry. O'Donnell cut down by Mike Fitzgerald. Flay and Dahl. Sweetnam chasing hard. Worth with his eyes on the ball. It's Sweetnam's couldn't quite get it away to Tauta. Manitou Alangi finds the touchline. I mean, I think uh, from Munster supporters point of view, we've seen Sutton do this all season. His work rate is phenomenal and he's got great gas as well. You know, he's, he's got this hurling uh, background as well. And he just seems to have an extra set of skills that uh, maybe other guys don't. So he's very, very dangerous. Got great gas and, and gr a great engine as well. And I think the difference so far between the sides has been the accuracy of the kicking from Munster. That's absolutely on the money, on a sixpence. When you're a fullback or a winger and you can't move your feet, you can't get up to the ball like an advancing player. Ben Young's at the minute, his box kicking's been way too variable, either too far or too short. And it's an area of the game that, it's, again, it's going to be as tight as this, will be decisive. The Monster are going to have to be disciplined because, as we saw there, Leinster, one of their strengths is that more. They got great go forward last year and it led to a lot of their tries. And uh, Monster defended very well. First scrum penalty goes Leicester's way. John Ryan doesn't like it a great deal. An interesting policy by the Tigers today, introducing Genge 
late on the loose head and Mullapola switching across to the tight head. Alice Genj, just 21 years old, in something of a hurry by the seeming of things. Already an England international. But this very much a key part of his rugby education. Also, you don't see many tight heads stood out in the midfield as a ball carrier. Mullapola, a really good and important ball carrier for Leicester. You sense if you see him carrying the ball more than being used as a decoy, he won't play more than 50. Well, Tigers need to secure possession. That's great D from Peter Omani there in the line of rare importance to you. Murray again, Sweetenham timing his run. Thompson under a proper aerial bombardment. It's gone backwards and Stander gathers it in. Big net gain for the Munstermen. This is Kilcoin. Half slips through the tackle of Slater. The advantage is being played. Tigers off their feet. Blayendal with a shot to nothing. Sends it wide and finds Zebo. And back we go. Green off his feet. Yeah, look, I think I think it comes back to the mall, the line out and, and those penalties we were talking about. Obviously, Monster unlucky to get a penalty from the from the scrum there, possibly. And uh, you know, I think they realise the danger of of this uh, Leinster forward packing Shot. and them getting possession and getting a chance to maul. Peter Armani is up there and that's something we, Munster weren't doing last year. You know, they weren't, weren't defending those lineouts as well and, and certainly when it came to ground they, you know, they were get, getting beaten up in the mall. and this is obviously a very different uh, mentality I think from, from the Munster pack obviously welcoming back the likes of Tommy O'Donnell as well and, and Peter Armani. Mm. Just such an important man for Munster, a captain who has dealt with so much, shouldered so much in recent weeks in the wake of Anthony Foley's passing, but he has led from the front and he has led Munster so, so well, undefeated since that terrible moment. Landahl on target, Munster up and running. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's important kick, great kick. Um, and now I suppose it's, it's just backing it up, getting back. And I know Munster know that Leicester are going to come at them again. And uh, it's just trying to deprive them of ball, I think, and, and deprive the pack of ball and, and just meet them up front. Stander again. Just relishing the contact, but he's met hard by uh, Manu Tuolangi. Murray's got great depth on that. George Worth. What an introduction to European rugby it is for the youngster. McCaffrey. Burns. Running into trouble. Running into Ryan, who's held him up well. That is Munster ball. Yeah, and, and that had, had been a, a feature of Munster for so long, you know, they call the choke tackles, holding it up, you know, and turning it into a mess on the ground and, and winning the turnover. Uh, and that's something, again, the last couple of years that, that Munster had gone away from a bit more of a, a, a chop tackle, low, low feature. And, uh, yeah, it's great to see great to see that back a bit. Jack uh, Neambar has, has obviously had a big effect on, on this defensive unit. And, uh, the, you know, they're, they're, they're very confident in what they do and there's very few gaps. I think they've got, Leicester have got to try and drain the energy from the crowd. Don't play any rugby on the halfway line. Don't run into big tackles. Don't get the crowd cheering. The best way to do that, Freddie Burns has done this with a lot more composure in recent games. Put the ball on the floor, find the touchline, start again. Keep trying to push Munster back. If you play around that halfway line, you allow that Munster back row to get on you and tackle, this crowd suddenly has a massive impact in the outcome of the game. Murray for Blayendal. He's playing the percentage game quite beautifully. Oh, that's, that's absolute mastery, you know. I mean, just just having a ten there that, that can manage a game, a pack, you know, putting in the effort at the scrum. They get up from that, and next thing you know, they're they're five seven meters out from the Leicester line. I mean, that's just it's just a godsend. And the, you know, 
it, it, it just motivates them all the more. Well, he's become a, a, a key part of operations here. He's in his third season with Munster, but only his 14th appearance because of a rash of injuries. A recent ankle problem ruled him out last week as well. Sweetenham, Thompson clings on, Zebo. Stander, and the Tigers straying across the offside line, Oz. Well, the kicking is becoming so important now in terms of territory, you've seen it, but you have to mitigate towards it, and Worth is an inexperienced 15, he ends up way too far away from Thompson, this is the third kick on the trot and it ends up keeping the pressure on. You've also got to get in front of the advancing players. Don't allow them a free secondary bounce. That experience is going to be, well, crucial because Munster have definitely got the upper hand so far. First taste of Europe for George Worth. Third consecutive start, but only 20 years old. He'll know all about it by the end of the day. Yeah, you'd expect to see a few high balls put on him possibly today. Maybe Munster might have uh, wanted a, you know, an old typical day here at Thoman Park in December. We had a lot of rain and a gale force, but they uh, got a nice sunny day. So, um, yeah, maybe they wanted a bit more of a greasy ball to stick up, skip high ones. But uh, no doubt he'll be tested later on in the day. It's there. 16 points and a man of the match award in the game against Glasgow. And already Tyler Blandahl having an important say this afternoon. Yeah, he's been great in all areas. His place kicking so far and, and, and his ball out of, kicking out of hand has been exemplary. And, and just, you know, he's steering Monster in the right directions and, and the pack are just doing the hard work up front. Stander for Earls. Picked up on the run from Worth. Muller Pola. Burns. Tigers just very lateral at this point. A line of red in front of them. Slater taking on that red line. McCaffrey. Burns, nearly away. Quick ball to work with. Genge trying to gather on the charge. Couldn't. Munster back in possession and with opportunities on the counter. Tauter. Billy Holland. Use it. And back to the controller. Look at that again, almost landing it on a sixpence. Worth is up to it. Sweetenham is there in his face once more. Stay two. Burns. Stay there. Well taken by Zebo. And there's plenty of space there. And he's done very well, Freddie Burns, the low trajectory. Well, it, took a miracle. it took a miracle kick to turn that around. Leicester half-backs getting punished in a lesson in kicking and how to push territory around this field at Thorman Park, but they have to get on top of that area. You can't let the ball bounce. He did pull it out, though, didn't he? <laughs> it was a miracle kick to get Leicester back to the halfway line. Yeah, very clever kick from Simon Zebo as well, using that monster left boot he has, just finding, finding a bit of grass making them turn, making Freddie Burns turn. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think certainly Munster on top in the kicking game. Secured by Omani. No. Now the home side going to work with their driving game. Niall Scannell.
Tigers trying to use the touchline, but Murray has it. Use it, Red! All options assessed by the Irish number nine. Hands not on the ball. Hands not on the ball. Leandal. Yet again, the bombardment. George Worth. Picked up by Youngs. Williams. Stay! On side now. Very cool from Blayendal. Nonchalant. I mean, I think he just knew by the flight of it. It was just going to bounce straight up in the air. If he went for it, you know, he's running backwards. He, he's blindsided. Just lets it bounce, bounce straight up. And very nonchalant, as I say. Very cool cam. But, um, yeah, I think, I think Munster there trying a little bit of a moss in the start of that piece. And, you know, I think Leinster, or sorry, Leicester as well, are, are equal, to the, equal to the task in defence. And that's going to be a fantastic battle, I think, there. But uh, for me, I think from, from a Leicester point of view, McCaffrey has been, has been everywhere so far. He got man of the match here last, last year in this fixture, and uh, he seems to have continued off just where he left off. And a uh, great carry to get them on the front foot earlier. Catching An infringement at the line out, meaning the Tigers can get onto the front foot potentially here. Donica Ryan. Yeah, you just can't do that, you know, I mean, that's going to be caught in, in, in this day and age. And, no, you know, no, I suppose, Peter, I suppose way, for Munster, please. I mean, they don't want to get the referee on, on, their, on their bad side. Roman Pot has a bit of a history here in Dolan Park down through the years. He actually ref this fixture last year, too. Um, and uh, there's a bit of a love-hate relationship with him here. <laughs> and maybe more one-sided. Yeah, when you say love-hate, <laughs> do, do you loves, actually mean... I think he loves coming here, but, he, but he, uh, I think he loves the... Uh, the, the vitriol that he gets thrown towards <laughs> as well at times. He's just got the crowd back on his side by moving the penalty back six inches. Well, it's an interesting decision from Leicester. This is a long way out. No gimme. It's not 31. 51 metres out. It's not terribly pretty. It wasn't too far away, though. 47 metres, his longest penalty this season. That four metres longer and proving just a little bit too much. Sharpened up from the tee, Freddie Burns, kicking at 78% this season. Knows that if he is to, uh, to break through on the international stage, that number has to be high 70s, early 80s. Murray wrapped up by Owen Williams. Back, 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 four, four, back. Use it, Red. Stander carries so well, doesn't he? Even when he's got defence in front of him, he always makes that extra yard. And so often, Austin as well. He's got great work rate. George Worth. Well, he secured the ball, but some excellent counter rocking from Munster have given them a great opportunity with the advantage. Peter Romani secures it, here's Zebo. Love those feet. And now the dancing shoes replaced by something a little more secure as they drive over the 10-metre line and they are awarded the penalty. That's exemplary from, from Simon Zebo. you know, he, he had to turn there and catch that pass. He timed his run slightly earlier. Uh, for Conor Murray's pass and had to turn it and catch it. Um, but, you know, he, he just made, made metres where he shouldn't have. He, he gets back with two or three guys and he's just pumping those legs, his work rate. And that's a big sign of, of, of this Munster team and this season. It's just their work rate. You know, they're working for those extra metres and just getting in behind Leicester. So let's have a word with Jerry Flannery, part of the coaching setup at, uh, at Munster. Jerry, you must be pleased with this start and what's been uh, particularly noticeable from up here has been the quality, the accuracy of the kicking game. Yeah, I think at the moment both teams are trying to feel each other out. Both of them, uh, Leicester and ourselves, both like to try and play a fairly pragmatic rugby and looking to territory. That means there's a lot of balls going into the air, so it's testing the work rate of the forwards. Um, 
we've been we've, been, we've come out on top on a couple of them so far. Darren Sweetenham, and uh, you have to put a lot down to the kick chase work from the forwards and, and turning scrappy ball over there like you just saw with the counter rocking. But at the moment, I think it's we'd like to tighten up on our discipline. We've copped a couple of penalties at line out and at scrum. And your, kind of, your area of responsibility as we uh, as we watch Tyler Blay and I might just pause for a moment here. It's big. It's very big from Blandar. It's three more. Munster nine, Leicester nil. And Jerry, if you are still there, I was just going to ask you about the scrummers. You've only seen a handful of them. Um, clearly, the Tigers arrive here without their, their linchpin at tight head, Dan Cole. Um, where do you see the balance of power at the moment there? Um, I think, like I said, there's a big onus on the forwards work right at the moment. And Mullipola switched across the tight head at a late switch. So it was a big ask on him getting around the field so far. We've had we've had two scrums so far. We've been decent and we've conceded a penalty and one on their ball. But I think uh, the more the game starts opening up and the more the forwards start getting tiredness in the legs, we're going to see one, one side come out on top, I think. Jerry, thanks for your time. Appreciate Thank you. it. Cheers. Conor Murray again orchestrating operations. It's gone very high. Nobody's claiming it. It's there for Tom Youngs. Genj relishes the confrontational stuff, but they know all about that here. Marched backwards. Burns. Nice flat ball for McCaffrey, who's dumped in the tackle. Slater, Tom Youngs, the defensive line so quick, and joining from the side, Leicester penalised, more cheers ringing around Tottenham Park. Yeah, I mean, that, that was brilliant defence, it, it was not only, you know, very, I suppose, orchestrated, but it was just the level of the hit in it. Uh, Donica Ryan coming in with a massive hit and, uh, earlier in this phase, and then, you know, just CJ Sander, his work rate has been brilliant, and just getting in the ball, and forcing them to give away the penalty, and, and you sense that Munster possibly are getting on the right side of the ref. Well, they are because they're playing really good defensive rugby. Chop tackle, got next guy in, over the top. Doesn't matter who it is, if you're a proper back row, a centre. You're stood next to Sorno, gets chopped down, you get your body over the ball. And Leicester, because they're a bit short of numbers in each ruck, they're having to work a little bit harder. They end up having to hit side rucks to clear out. They've been a tough nut to crack, Munster, in recent times. They've conceded only eight points in their last three fixtures here. In the meantime, Ian Keatley is on for Rory Scannell. So Keatley into the centres. Referee's arm is out. Penalty advantage being played. Keatley threads it wide for Zebo. That's a clever little kick. And it won't quite sit for Earls. Early. Early. Yeah, another penalty there. Early Slater coming in the side Early. of them all. Uh, and he was caught straight away. And again, another sign that you know might be under a little bit of pressure Early and just giving away those penalties. That's they're gonna have to be careful, aren't they? Consecutive penalties now. You carry on doing that. You risk the wrath of Quat and the yellow card. Munster just got a little bit more bite in everything that they're doing than Leicester so far. Yes. Early in the air, His first 26 early minutes. On, on the ground. Number four, Green. Yep. Yeah, Simon Zebo offering a threat, where the ball in hand or via the boot. Take the 15 if you want. Peter O'Mahony taking a little bit of time out. And Tyler Blandahl. Setting up for a fourth penalty of the afternoon. Ian Keatley, who of course has come on for, for Rory Scannell, has, has had a great few weeks. I think you know he's he's one of the players who's, who typifies this resurgent, I suppose, monster and, and, and the way he he clinched monster victory uh, last week in, in in Glasgow with a, with a last minute drop goal is, is kind of a sign of of where he is and, and where monster are. Leandahl, 12, 
Leicester nil, and the Tigers being punished by the boot. No Christmas presents here this afternoon. Even Santa's on our side. So. There's Razi Erasmus, who could not have imagined all the things that have appeared on his plate in recent weeks, but what a resurgence he's presiding over now. Murray with the clearance. Well, just the difference in those two kicks. The restart's a little bit aimless from Burns. Doesn't allow anyone to compete under the ball. It's too far. And you find yourself back on the 10-metre line. It's actually not a bad position to be in. It's an area where Leicester will have spent a lot of time doing 100% plays, set-up plays. Muller-Polar in the midfield again. Alongside Tuolangi. Which one of those two big units do you take if you're opposite him? I'd say neither. Wani Moff has scored for Racing 92 in this pool, of course. Youngs, Genj. Tuolangi, taken at source by Omani. Tigers going through a lot of phases with not much reward at the moment. Yeah, Munster's line speed has been excellent as well. They're just getting up in their faces. So, so every time that Leicester do carry it, you know, they're getting hit behind the gain line and it, it just gets, it makes it that much harder to recycle the ball and get in front foot again. And that Jeez, man, Tyler Brindall, he's been involved with about three or four tackles. And three, one really good one at the start on Tuolagi. Williams going wide. McConnell may have lost that. Let's see what Roman Pot has to say here. I think he said uh, it's a penalty to Munster. Oui, tu as sur la phase de rock. Tu as une prise au coup avec Twist d'un joueur vert sur le premier soutien rouge. Il faut qu'on vérifie à la vidéo le numéro du joueur. D'accord. Pour toi, il faut aller un peu plus haut que CPP. Oui. D'accord. Arnaud. Can oui. you please can you please check at the rock form? Tu 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 as got a, a twist uh, by it's, cleaning green. I think it's can Owen you check Williams. the number and can we review that please? Is it rolling green? Je demande les images. Yeah, I think Owen Williams pour comes in late and tries to remove. Je pas l'angle de caméra sur le player. I can't see it is over the ball. Why won't I donate and thank you? I think it might be Omahani. Yeah. Here he comes. Is he around the neck now as he spin out? Uh, marginal, isn't it? Penalty's already given. I don't think it's sanctionable. Penalty wants an execution. I'll have to correct you on Peter Mahoney's surname as well. Mahoney. Mahoney. I have no idea what he just said, but. I'll speak in English. So Romo quite wanting a little word with with Owen Williams. It's not a bad picture, but yeah. it's a neck roll. It's just a penalty against you and yes. a caution. Yes, sorry, sorry, okay. So another penalty. This one, at least from a Tigers perspective, is in the Munster half just. But that count after half an hour already neck reads 5-3 against them and Blayendal is poised yes, you too. to drive this as deep as possible yeah I, I suppose again we go back to Monster's defense it was from that from the uh, Leicester line out uh, there's probably a net, a net loss of about 15 meters there from Monster just through their defense and ultimately getting the penalty and you know the team that's going forward ultimately you know normally gets the penalties and and, and especially with Poit you know he likes to he likes to I suppose give the, for, the team going forward that that uh, bit of the benefit of the doubt. What? Well, the line out offered just about the perfect setup by Donica Ryan, and now CJ Standers in the thick of things. Tigers splintering. Touter bustling his way forwards. Murray, Zebo. The ball spilt. 
opportunities here. Youngs couldn't get it away clean. Topston for Beetham. He's taking the scenic route. Go ahead, With the man. advantage already there for Leicester. That's loose. O'Connor tidies. Still playing with the advantage, so you no, no, can no, afford no, to be no. a little bit more risque. <laughs> Throwing the ball or, on the or floor. Or risky, even. Risque, yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do. Here's Burns. I'm not sure that's quite the area of the field that Richard Cockrell will want that kind of thing happening. And a kick from the knock-on is automatically advantage over, so it's not clever. Kilcoin straightens, and there's another penalty. There's going to be a card potentially here. He's reaching for the pocket. This is his third infringement in the game. Too much. Yellow for Ed Slater. It is, it's a yellow for Slater, but really all the punishment will be heaped on Freddie Burns' shoulders for that decision. You're playing a little bit of risky rugby in your own half with the advantage from the knock-on, but the moment you put a little chip in, the advantage is over. And here it is. The space is there, but it's well covered by Tauta. And I think it's just, well, it's silly play. And I've said it already, but the story of this half is Leicester's halfbacks are not doing the right things for their team. Munsters are doing everything right. Tough ten minutes of contemplation for Ed Slater. And it feels like we've been here before this afternoon. Tyler Blandahl eyeing up the sticks. That one's wide. First miss of the day. Hasn't put a foot wrong, has he, until then? First miss, in fact, of his Champions Cup campaign. Tyler Blandahl, score remains 12 points to nil, but still an awkward nine minutes for Leicester to negotiate. Do you think they're discussing, Wally, whether they should take him off now because of that? Yeah, doubtful, I'd say, doubtful, yeah. I mean, he has, he's, he's been so composed, and he's kind of typified the, the whole nature of the monster performance so far. Burns has given that everything, taken in by Murray, Zebo. Leandau, inside ball for Stander. Keatley. Earls. Scampering forwards, brilliant offloading, O'Donnell. Straight through the middle of the ruck they go. Munster beginning to go through the gears at this stage. Blayandal, well held by Kilcoyne, Tuilangi with the tackle. Only really seen him on defensive duty so far this afternoon. Murray with options left and right. Zebo. Keatley. Moves it onwards. John Ryan. At his international debut against Canada last month. Working that short side. Threaded it nicely to Earls. Through the tunnel. Stand up. Taking them on. Murray. O'Donnell. Still they build. Ryan again. Stand up once more. Keatley. Still they go with the bludgeon. Lovely inside ball. What a slice of hands. Magic from Murray. Pure magic. What a beautiful pass. They're totally on the right page there. Simon Zebo 
points to his man, points to his mate and says thank you, thank you for that. Yeah, obviously good friends off the field as well. They're, you know, they, they obviously always play on the same page and uh, both involved with Ireland over the fantastic November in, internationals and, and obviously this is pre-arranged, pre-arranged call and uh, it's just a perfect pass. Simon Zebo has been very good going forward all day uh, in every facet all day and, and is getting involved and CJ Sander, how many times was he involved in, that, in the lead-up to that try? Multi-multi-phases and tiring Leicester out. And an easy two for Blayendahl. And with Slater off the field, the Tigers have paid a heavy price. Connor Murray, who is just playing out of his skin at the moment, setting up the Zebo score and plenty to think about for the Tigers coaching staff. The no-look pass, it was flicked away while nobody was watching. And Leicester have been caught a couple of times. I remember CJ Sanders' break earlier in the game and uh, just around that, uh, that pillar spot or that, that first roll in the side of the rock. Um, There's probably some area that they just need to tighten down on. So now playing with great confidence and panache as Earls goes. McCaffrey on the ground. Monster with their tails up. Beatham. That's a decent nudge over the head of Blayendahl. Great patience, just waited for the ball to get across the line. I think Roman Pike's going to check. I think the ball was across the line. I think the ball was across. waited long enough. Yeah, I, think, I don't know if, if Tyler was across, but the ball had certainly crossed. Bring back the ball uh, in goal, please. Yes. I'm not sure I about that. that. So did he carry it back over? <laughs> Gonna need a slower one, I think. Uh, I know. I have a decision. It's clear and obvious that the players didn't bring back the ball. It's Good a drop out. Put it okay. on the line. Good. On we go. So some relief from the Munster men. And Blayendahl has gone long. McCaffrey. And it's taking so long. Tigers not taking care of business. They are not looking after their own possession. Certainly not. It's not all Tigers, though. Munster are so good this half. Look at the pressure they apply at the breakdown. McCaffrey's carried pretty well. He's hit. And then they just make a mess of the breakdown. They don't allow any bodies to be seen, to be cleared out. He's, he's, he's too much on his own when he's carrying that ball, McCaffrey. It's a great carry, but there's just not the follow-up. There's not the support behind him to clear it out straight away. And, and Munster are, are that bit sharper and maybe uh, that bit fitter. And off they go. Blandart, full of adventure now. Taken on by Niall Scannell. Holman Park is in terrific voice. Murray goes. That was forwards to us. Hold the roll. You got to get admire his endeavour there, you know. Um, possibly, you know, maybe maybe looking back at it, you know, he might have gone for touch and 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 and, uh, and tried that more. But uh, well, 19 points up, you can do what you like. Yeah, it's a it's a long game, long half to go, and and, and Leicester, you know, they're not a team who are going to lie down. They're going to they're going to regroup at half time and come back. So um, we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. Wonderful sound all around Homan Park. Fields of Athen Rye being sung with gusto. Crutch! Keep your body weight, keep your body weight. Let's go right now. Thank you.
Must be incredible to play in a place like this, David. That's special, especially on days like today as well, you know. Uh, two massive teams going at, it, going at each other. And, uh, yeah, it is. A, some, so many great days here, although not against Leicester, unfortunately. What a fabulous occasion. A fabulous noise and a fabulous performance from Munster in the first 40. Zebo's try made by a little bit of genius from Conor Murray and 14 points to the boot of Tyler Blandahl. All the analysis to come in the company. Thanks, Craig. Still uh, another minute and a half or so of the yellow card to see out from a Leicester perspective. So still big opportunities for Munster to build on this healthy lead that they've managed to grow quietly at first via the boot of Blayendal. And then the Zebo try adding to it all. And they're playing with tremendous confidence at the moment. CJ Stander has just been remarkable. 15 carries so far for 62 metres made. He is always there, always willing. Brilliantly taken from Burns. To Alangi with the clear out. A handful of the Munster fans didn't enjoy that. Williams, Genge, Tigers need something early to give them a degree of hope here. Wide from Williams, Worth frees up the arms. Youngs to Youngs. Monster appealing, they've won the turnover ball. Giant sets off. Yeah, brilliant turnover at the breakdown. Blay and Dahl. Cleverly weighted. Running onto it is Worth. Tigers back inside their own half. Just a little glimmer of the power offered by Ellis Genge. No, 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 no. And Ben Youngs running deliberately into <laughs> Connor Murray and knowing full well that that would be the outcome. Red, experience, uh, yeah, well, well, Leicester did come out of the blocks um, and, and Munster were, were you know, really up, up there to meet them. Peter Armani go. got a good choke Let's on go. a choke tackle on, on, on a play just before, but then gets a really important steal. Um, but, you know, Leicester, I think, have regrouped. You know, I think they're going to come at Munster and, and uh, Munster just need to be wide to that, you know, that this is going to be very different second half and, and Leicester in the, in the last 20 minutes of their games that's that's when they do their most damage so we will we'll need to be on point for the rest of this half well there is a history there is a history of the Tigers scoring second half points as we saw the opening round of the Premiership didn't they came yeah. back from uh, 17 point deficit at half time to beat Gloucester yeah and one of the previous games here obviously Leicester won 31-19 so we can expect 31 unanswered points now in this half <laughs> Ball is secured, this time by Luke Hamilton, who's onto the field. And this is Topston. Barely seen anything from Leicester, ball in hand. Youngs is going to have a little dart here, being held up in the choke tackle. Holland in the thick of it. And this ball is going to go Munster's way. Maybe without the intervention of Roman Poitz, certainly with it. Yeah, again, another choke tackle. Again, we talked about it, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't a thing that they weren't do, doing last year. They weren't choking, they were all low-focus tackle, and, and it's very easy, to, I suppose, to, to read that and, and to set your game and tune your game for that. Red ball, formed by Green. Surprisingly few uh, scrums as well today, you know, just four, just four scrums. There's Luke Hamilton, and Mike Fitzgerald, we understand, is having a head injury assessment. Crutch! Fine! 
We keep, we, we keep the way that we got in the first yeah. half, okay? Yeah. Space and wait for the last one. Passions. Don't pre-engage, don't pre-engage, okay? You are both in the same time as this one. Just looking at the backfield here, Ali, and I think it's quite interesting, Leicester's defensive formation. That's quite a big gap, I think, to be able to cover. If you just go round the corner and draw man on man, you end up with a three on two on the outside. Conor Murray there. You've got the ability to attack that side, but they'll obviously go the other way. Stay, stay, hold Driven downfield, oh. and just that's overcooked by a fraction. That was just close. Very close, I like the replay of that one. Rory Scannell's boots. Yeah. Bang on the whitewash. They should have gone to the other side of the scrum. <laughs> Straight on the line. Scannell patched up now, of course, and uh, Keatley back onto the bench. So a little bit more ball, a little bit more in the way of possession for the Tigers, but then not straight from Tom Youngs. We well, were talking about this, actually, before the game, before the match, about the number of line-out drills you do, the amount of how complicated they become. There was so much movement there. It's almost impossible for Tom Young to know where the ball's going. And sometimes it's just, it's just speed, speed yeah. that, that wins the ball, you know, and um, if, if you make it a little bit overcomplicated, it just gives the opposition a bit of time just to get in the air and put you off. I've been saying this for years, that through all the training sessions that we went to, the forwards would go off and they'd spend days doing lineouts. But if you let forwards think too much, they make mistakes. Chuck it in, jump, push. Can't argue with you, unfortunately. <laughs> Feel free, Wally. <laughs> Right, a free kick here for the Tigers, and they need to convert some of this pressure into points. Maybe Logo Mulapola will assist in that department. The tackle from Niall Scannell. Tom Youngs straightening. Tango, tango. What is there? This after 47 minutes, the first excursion for the Tigers in the Munster 22. Williams smashed by Tauter, picked up by McCaffrey. Tauter quickly back to his feet. And then the ball spewing out, but not the ball being knocked forwards. Oh, what an addition he has been to Munster. I mean, he, since day one, he, he came on against Leicester, he, or Leicester, he scored a try, and his physicality, he just bought into the, into the team straight away, and he's, he's been a massive force for us. You know, making that big hit there. Uh, and, uh, and Williams, he's down on the ground, he's back up and he's making another tackle straight after it. And it's just that, that urgency, that work rate, you know, and that, that wanting to get involved and make, make positive, uh, positive uh, motions. What an impact Jako Tauta has made in his brief time here in Munster. David, he's about to head back, isn't he, to South Africa. Brought in his injury cover for Francis Saili, who many Munster fans will be delighted to hear is near to being ready, but they're going to miss him. Uh, we'll miss him, but yeah, as you say, I mean, Francis Saheli is coming back and, and he'll be a welcome addition as well. You know, he has that physicality and, and, and uh, you know, ex All Black, he's also you know, extremely talented going forward as well. Um, I know he'll be, he'll be relishing getting back and foaming at the mouth to get back into this monster team. Landal looking for Earls, tap back beautifully for Zebo, space in behind George Worth. Earls is steaming upfield. Worth enveloped. Enough Tigers shirts there. What a baptism for the Leicester fullback. Youngs clears. That's coming our way. Great vision there from Simon Zeba. Lovely little tap from from Earlsy down to him. Again, they're on the same page. It's, it's like this team. They they know what each other is, is thinking. And um, and Simon Zebo, you know, he's 
he has to do a little bit of work, a little bit of footwork, and you know, a lot of Leicester players, you know, there's one, two, three, four, five, six players around him. He, just, he manages to find the space, finds green, and, and puts it in behind six. and putting the pressure on Leicester. So Munster back in the right part of the field from their perspective and headed for the Tigers 22. It's in the arms of Niall Scannell. Donica Ryan has constructed this drive. Fantastic. Roaring his men on. Fantastic shape to them all. You look how low they are, you look how set they are. And there's no one going to be disrupting that, getting in amongst it. And it's just, it's, it's like a scrum setup. Red players, red players first. Tigers heading in reverse at speed. Connor Murray takes it to within five metres. John Ryan drives into Tom Young's. A handful more metres. Stander again. Munster searching for a second. They've got it. Second third. Celebration time. Set up by the most immaculate of driving malls and finished by the big South African, Yako Tauta. Yeah, I don't know, is that, that bring his try tally to, to four or five, I think, for Munster, maybe four. Um, you know, he's only played Why probably six or seven games. Um, so, yeah, Why look, he's, he's been what an addition, you know, in defence, in attack. Um, he's, he's loving playing here. Sorry, sorry to see him go. Taking their opportunities, Austin. Barely, yeah. barely been inside the Tigers' half in the second period. All stems from a really good setup in the mall. Gets the Leicester pack mainly on the floor. They come round the corner. Murray's got the physicality to stand the tackle and still make yardage. But then there's a nice pickup that creates it, the space for Tauter. I think it might have been Billy Holland coming round the corner. Really quick pickup or CJ that enabled them to really turn the corner quickly. Yeah, CJ, he gets hit. He gets hit low. I think by, uh, by Slater, but manages to stay on his feet and not get knocked backwards. I don't know if he has that ability, but, you know, it looked for, for all intents and purposes, he was going to be driven backwards by Slater. Big man hitting him low and, uh, you know, Stander losing his feet, but uh, he, he just got that extra inch. So we've spoken about the impact. Just brought over on a four-month deal from September. Here's Blandahl again. <laughs> 26 points to nil. Monster firmly in charge. Bossing proceedings this afternoon. And the Tigers have a little bit of trouble potentially because Freddie Burns is having to go off the field by the look of things. Uh, Ken, can you, uh, Tommy, can you ask who is the new captain for Green? I think he may have got injured uh, tackling Tota for that, that try. So Burns off. For how long, we're not sure. An HIA for the Leicester fly half. And uh, we also have a change in the front row. Mullapola's off. Greg Bateman is on. Brilliantly taken. Pressure from Hamilton in the air. Omani. Sets it up, Murray is clobbered. Tigers swarming. Must having to work very hard to secure it. No hurry from Connor Murray. Another of those awkward testers. Tigers don't seem interested in taking that on the full whatsoever and Billy Holland claims it no one claiming, claiming ownership for that one here's Tauta big hit from Hamilton eager to make an impression from the bench blasting upfield is Kilcoyne a roar with every charge Zebo still wriggling and Manu Tuolangi making a healthy mess of that rock and Tigers have the ball as a result Kitchener Roberts Thompson yeah, but... well Leicester coming back into the game but 
Physicality for the first time shown by Manu to Alangi enables him to turn the ball over and go wide. But this guy's going. This guy going off here now for Munster made the try in my mind. John Ryan, I think he's leaving the field now. It's just been announced, has it? Maybe not, but they just announced that John Ryan was leaving the field. He's decided that he's playing so well, he wants to stay on. <laughs> we'll have a look at his pickup in a minute, but when you get the opportunity to go through the motions around the corner and not stop the momentum, it's very difficult defensively to stop the try from being scored. We'll take a look at it in a minute, but John Ryan and indeed Kilcoyne are having massive influence on the game. Crunch. Hey, one, one green and three red. Thank you. So Freddie Burns will not, not be reappearing for Leicester. Jack Roberts is on uh, for good then Take with Williams way. now Take occupying the fly half roll. Ten points here last season against Munster for Owen Williams. But a very significant role for the remaining 25 minutes here. Munster in total command. Roman Poit very anxious not to give a cheap penalty away come scrum time. Scannell is like a little caterpillar across the ground. Omani trying to bounce through the tackle of Tom Youngs. Yet another awkward one. And Worth, to his credit, has held on to all the high stuff. Booted through. That's loose of the breakdown there, but I think part, part might have missed what happened. He was just trying to tell the monster defenders to, to, to get back on side, and I think he missed whatever happened. Oz. Well, just talking about John Ryan's carry before that set up the try. This is a perfect carry. There he is. He's highlighted. He comes round the corner. And watch how cleanly he picks the ball up in one motion. He's just round the corner. The defence can't get in position early enough, and then all the forwards are backing off. Stander gets round one more corner. There's not enough guys on the far side, and the try is created. Great clean out from Billy Holland and Dave Kilcoyne as well there. They're right at, right at the scene at the right time and just making sure that ball is quick. Change of scrum half for Leicester. Sam Harrison on for Ben Youngs. Quite a big call with uh, still 25 minutes to play, but of course there are other battles for the Tigers to fight. Sweetenham. Leyendal, Tauta. Kilcoyne, who licks his lips every time he's given the ball. Such a dynamic ball carry. Sweetenham, opportunities here for Munster. Still Sweetenham, brilliant. We, we haven't seen him with a lot of ball in hand today, but you know he made a, made a bit of a break here on this side and, and another one later on there. Just a great hand, or a great offload there to to Taude and, and a second try. And uh, you know I think he's going to remember this this trip to, to Munster very very fondly. Yes, the angle he picks, isn't it? He gets on the outside shoulder of Tom Youngs and just keeps running. Thompson has to drop off to cover the outside, but what an offload that is to the ins. The Tauta's second. Munster just streets ahead of Leicester this afternoon in every department, particularly from 1 to 10. And then when you get the ball out wide and you get matchups, you get your wingers running at front rows, you get the three tries that you deserve. Well, it was a lovely break from Darren Sweetnam. And it left Yako Tauta to finish it off. There'll be a, a red carpet laid out on the way to the airport, I would suggest. See you get some send off. They won't. They'll take the wheels off the taxi.
No extras this time around, but look at that scoreline. 31 points to nil. Richard Cockrell and Aaron Major having thought, hoped, that their season had taken a turn for the better after a, a pretty scratchy opening. Well, there's the 31 points you're talking about, Austin. But <laughs> yeah, unanswered. Told you it was going to happen. But of course, we got we got just over uh, 20 minutes now as well for for months or two. Go and target that bonus point, and let's see. You know, they don't need a rush. They don't need a force. They just need to hold on to the onto the ball, and hopefully the uh, the, uh, the opportunities will come. Changes being made by Razi Erasmus. Dave Kilcoyne is off, replaced by Thomas Dutoy. And Tommy O'Donnell is replaced by Jack O'Donoghue in the back row. Munster now hunting a bonus point with turnover ball. O'Mahony. Advantage over. First touch for John Klein. Making his European debut. And again, Murray driving them upfield via the boot. George Worth looks once, looks twice, and sees Darren Sweetenham everywhere. Darren Sweetenham was excellently escorted back there in that kick. He wasn't, he wasn't being let get anywhere near, um, near Worth. Well, he's shadowed Worth all day, isn't he? Harrison to Genge. Strong initial surge. Oh, Manu Tuolangi could be in trouble here. Just depends what part of his body makes contact in the rook. Comes in late for the clear out. They're going to take a look at it. TMO time. Arno Blondel. Numéro 13, vert sur un joueur rouge. Oui. Charge, il fait aucun effort pour en serrer. D'accord. Ta recommandation. Ma recommandation, pénalité carton jaune contre le numéro 13 vert. D'accord. Captain. Sounds like a yellow for Turlangi. 13. 13. Manu. 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 Where's Manu? What's happened? Well, he's a hard man to hide. Well, explain. Interesting that they've gone straight the to the yellow. Explanation by uh, assistant referee: no arms and charge dangerous charge at work. It gets worse for the Tigers. One of their key men, the man who can offer them so much by way of power and influence on the fields, is off to the bin. He, he is for a dangerous charge at the rook, but in actual fact, there's not a lot wrong with that. It's just outcome based. It looked a lot worse. He leads with his head, but he doesn't connect with her head. The swinging arm looks like he's trying to grab the body. I think it's a harsh yellow. I think it's outcome based. It looked a lot worse than it actually was. If they'd have gone upstairs and looked at that again, it's not a clear cut yellow. Maybe Munster fans thinking that I'm Tiger Bias there, but generally don't think that was as clear cut as everyone else did. Yeah, I mean. I suppose he might be a victim there of his own strength and power, exactly, you know, yeah. he, he's coming in, but I think they are clamping down a bit on, in, in the breakdown where guys are, I suppose they're, they're, they're a bit exposed, you know, and, and, and they can't see what's coming, you got a guy coming from, from 10 metres, they want to cut down on those dangerous and dangerous charges, I suppose. Ed Slater, the new Leicester skipper with Tom Young's going off, replaced by George McGuigan. And Munster looking to make this numerical advantage pay. Ryan driven back in the tackle, but they're only 10 metres away. Murray, Scannell. Blayendal, Stander, brought down by McGuigan. O'Mahony, yet again. Tigers successful at the breakdown. Great work from McCaffrey. He's back, back red. Use it, Green. Harrison. Stay, stay, Green. And Williams has found a good touch. 
Yeah, I must be a little bit disappointed. You know, that's that's an opportune time to to get a bonus point, to get a try, get a bonus point with a man in the bin as well. Um, but look, they're they're still down here. They're in the right position. Um, so hopefully they can they can just build something. But certainly the mall setup wasn't as strong as we saw earlier. It wasn't wasn't as uh, as precise and a um, little bit of one out runners. Peter Manny was caught a little bit isolated, slower ball and. Just probably need to that, keep that work rate high in, in terms of staying with each other and making sure the ball is quick and, and secure. Scannell finding Donica Ryan. This looks a little bit more precise than the last one. They have a wonderful platform and they're driving inside the 22 now. Once. Murray being offered the ball. Keen to work that short side as much as possible. Detroit. What out? What out? Standard. Is that a little knock on? Suggestion of one from Conor Murray. Roman Poit unmoved. Scannell. Back they go once more. Jack O'Donoghue. Fresh legs for Munster. Omani. Off your feet, Green. Off your sends it wide. Good work from Roberts. Nowhere for Sweetenham to go that time. And now it's been knocked forwards. And one or two errors creeping in as Munster get excited with the prospects of four tries and a bonus point. Yeah, I don't think they need to force it, you know. I th think they're looking to try and score this try, um, you know, through any, any bit of open play. But I think you just need to build the phases. And again, there were times again there that, that the urgency was just down slightly, maybe they're a little bit more tired. Um, and the, 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 the separation between the support and, and, the, and the ball carrier was just that little bit too much, and Leicester were getting hands in. I think maybe Munster were a little bit unlucky not to get a penalty there. It was a Leicester player off his feet, slowing up the ball. Lots more rugby to come, of course. And right now on BT Sport 3 HD, you can see Racing 92 against Glasgow. And then tomorrow... We are at Sandy Park, Exeter against Bordeaux, 5.15, 2 HD and 4K, UHD and all the highlights a little later on in the evening, 7.45, all the best of round three as we see Conor Murray make his way off the field. And don't forget rugby tonight, next Wednesday, 8 o'clock, with a special interview with the England head coach, Eddie Jones. So changes made, Duncan Williams on for Murray at scrum half now. Same like them. Both sets of coaches starting to think about next week. Ben Young's came off a lot earlier. Just shows how influential both the nines are to their sides. Conor Murray definitely having the upper, side, upper hand this afternoon. Particularly with his kicking game. It's been excellent. There's a case, case to be made about whether he's actually the best nine in the world right now. I'd absolutely go along with that. He's, he's, he's certainly up there, and, and for me, I, I think he is. The way he controls the game, he's, he's also um, defensively incredibly strong. He, he, he at least stops one try every game, you know. He's, his corner flagging and uh, his ability to, to stop tries, he, he's like an extra back row. Uh, and also, that, that helps a lot. Like, we've seen a few times today where he's had a bit of pressure on him. Certainly, Leicester have tried to go after him and, uh, and, and tackle him in around the breakdown. He has that strength and ability to, to stay on his feet not get blown backwards or, or maybe even fight an extra yard. Well, that's a nice situation for Andy Farrell to be in with Ireland, of course, but particularly with the Lions in mind next summer against New Zealand. Murray, perhaps the prime contender. So much rugby to be played, though. Harrison to Worth, tackled by Blayendal. Slater. Offside advantage. And Munster straying offside, so penalty coming Tigers' way. Plenty of space here for Tobston. And he gets the ball away nicely to O'Connor. Roberts on the charge. Roberts up against Zebo. And the Munster fullback has his man. Kitchener whips it away. And then it's not forwards. May have been in touch in the first place. Is the Assistant referee involved. 
Well, that's a great way to take the freebie, isn't it, from the penalty. Lovely cross kick. They're in touch there first, I think, before that ball's offloaded to Roberts. Zebo does very well to get back because Roberts is exceptionally quick. In a strange way, I was nearly hoping that Leicester would score there because it would bring us back down the field here and possibly, you know, uh, get, get the ball back in our hands a little bit quicker to get, to get, a, to get a bonus point try. Um, you know, if, if we play around here for another five minutes, you know, that, that yellow card will be up and... Uh, he's had some game, hasn't he? John yeah, Ryan. John Ryan. He's, he's been on with the season. Uh, you know, one, one, of, one of the real positives, I think, you know, that, that's come on this season as well is, 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 is him, he's, how he's progressed. He's been called up to an Irish squad as well. And just his scrummaging, his work rate around the park and, and his ball-carrying ability. Straight down. Scrum penalty going Leicester's way. On the ground, straight down. I am here. Stephen Archer onto the field for John Ryan now. So two new props for Munster. And the Tigers searching for something here. Anything, frankly, at this point. 14 men on the pitch. 14 minutes to play. And being smashed off the field. 8 or 7. Gap on the line. Open it. Open Rocky it. Rocky McCaffrey's Open making way. And he's going to be replaced by Will Evans. McCaffrey industrious as ever, but they have been right up against it this afternoon. What can they do from here? Hamilton held up by O'Donoghue, but that's an excellent drive. Slater. No hands! Inch by inch. Harrison, McGuigan, stopped early by Blaine Dahl and then the cavalry arrive and the ball is ripped by CJ Stander to the roar of Thoman Park. Blaine Dahl. Defensively today, Munster have been huge. Yeah, I think the Scanlon uh, Blindhall tackle there before that massive holding up the ball. How many times have we seen that? Just holding up the ball. It's nearly becoming a maul, but not quite. And they're not. And they've been. And they've been wise enough just to get out of the way as well. When um, you know, when, the, when it does go to ground, it becomes a rock, and they can get caught offside. And that's that's one of the dangers of this Joe tackle. But Stander there, he's been he's been phenomenal. Look at those carries. 19 carries. Leaders made. Game line success. You know, tackles. You know, see, he's just put in a monumental performance and uh, a great go forward for Munster. Another Lions contender in a hotly contested area, of course, number eight. Tigers being dispatched beyond the 22, now regrouping. Hamilton, who's definitely added a little something since he came on. Williams. And that's a horrible ball for George Worth to deal with. And Conway's livid with himself. Having just come onto the field, he had to make that stay in play somehow or other. Yeah, and you would have backed him as well if, if that had stayed in field. You know, he's got great gas, he's got unbelievable feet, footwork, but, but brilliant speed along with it. And just, just, it was a difficult angle for him. He, the ball was going away from him, and he was running towards, towards the touchline. So um, it was going to be a difficult kick for him. But uh, yeah, you certainly would have backed him. Really strange breakout from Leicester. On the mark. Try and keep everyone tight and then throw a long ball over the top to an isolated player. Tactically on the field today, they've been completely outnoused. But out again, I think you've just made up a new word there, Ross. Outnoused? Yeah. It's a good one. I like I it. Good ring. good ring to it, yeah. Thank it's in my dictionary, Ali, along with a load of other words that no one's heard of. Thankfully. <laughs> you carry on, I'll show you one of the others. Manu Tulagi would not be coming back on the field. Tom Brady will be taking his position with the yellow card now done and dusted. Stand up and fight. 
Yeah, they've yeah. done both of those things this afternoon, Munster. And again, there was there was two other incidents that we we kind of we talked about earlier, just just a, a, a minute ago, where uh, where Munster were defending them all, and uh, again, fantastic defence. You know, really committed late on in the game and didn't give any uh, any uh, in, impetus or momentum to, to Leicester. Wide via the hands of Beetham and Thompson. So the dictionary alley out now is to completely outplay the opposition in every aspect and facet <laughs> of the game. Well, that's what's happening here. Leicester, just as they think they might be getting a little bit of purchase on the game, being driven backwards. Genge again on the carry. Williams, nice pick up from McGuigan, and the ball is good for Harrison. Tigers looking to raise the tempo here. Brady envelops, again held up by Stander and ripped by Omani, just out muscled. How many times has that happened this afternoon? Yeah, I, 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 countless signs, haven't it? And it's just a, just a sign of their mentality, you know, they're up for it physically, and, and, uh, and the likes of Stander and Peter Omani, you know, that, they, they, that's what they bring to the game, is physicality, and, and they've used it all day. And again, Leicester guilty of letting the ball bounce, and Munster make another 20 metres. Driven on by O'Donoghue. They are after that bonus point try. Scannell. Blayendal. Over the top to Sweetenham. Shadowed by Topston. That's a naughty one. It's going to sit up, it won't sit up. Because Tauter cannot gather it in. George Worth is going to see yellow. And that is a penalty try. It is the bonus point try. Well, you feel for Tauter. Well, you know, I don't think he ever would have got to it. The hat trick would have been lovely, but... Um... Possibly a little bit of a soft, soft penalty try. That ball was always going to go dead, but um, maybe a silly one by, by Leicester. Well, <laughs> it's a penalty. It's not a penalty try. The ball was in the first two rows of the stand. It's a lovely piece of play from Sweetenham again. Gets the chip over. Doesn't quite bounce up. I'm sorry, he's not getting to that ball a month of Sundays, but you could argue that they deserve the try. Leicester just been destroyed again, both tight and out wide. It kicks on. Unless he's got arms like Mr. Tickle, he's not scoring that. We'll give it to him anyway. Yeah. That's another jacket. I think most to deserve it? it, but... What's going through these Leicester players' minds now is next week. This is the beauty of, the, of Europe. When you get to these back-to-back -back games, you often see a side get absolutely humped in the first one and then bounce back in the return. And that's what will be going through every Leicester player's mind, every Leicester supporter, and certainly in Richard Cockrell's head. Tyler Blandahl's day is done, and it's been another outstanding one for the Kiwi fly half. Controlled the game beautifully. He's put Munster in all the right parts of the pitch, and he's kicked his goals. Yeah, and he's certainly up there for man of the match, isn't he, along with Stander, you know, Jack O'Toud as well. Uh, you know, there's probably a whole host of guys, really, you know, Peter Romani as well has been so influential in breakdown and, and the line-out as well. Um, but look, it's, it certainly is a team performance, and uh, and you look at them now, look at that, the line chase there from, from that kick, that's really solid, you know, they're playing with energy, guys coming on, guys like here, Andrew Conway, you know, just, just coming on and raising to the standard. Keith Earls, spotting the gap, through the gap, Williams is on his shoulder. Dragged down by Brendan O'Connor, who is playing with a degree of desperation, desperation that is absolutely required by Leicester right now. And even now, Ali, this deep into the game, Munster still piling into the breakdown made it so difficult to Leicester to play and that physicality in every tackle Brady knocks on knocks on because of the pressure of the defence another tricky little chip just rolling too far this time well they are some force when they are in this mood Munster 38 points to nil it has been 
absolutely comprehensive in every area of the field. Tigers now having to contemplate not only this defeat, but the humbling at the hands of Glasgow in round one. It's um, it's a testing one for Mr Cockerell, this one, Austin. Yeah, it certainly is. It's going to be a difficult week for Leicester Catch Tigers them. players turning it around, but what a performance from all amongst the players. 1-15, to 15, in particular 1-10. to 10. It's very difficult to pick out a man of the match. Blay and Dal obviously gave them composure and control early on. But when you look at the stats and when you look at the physicality, CJ Stander, 20 carries, 10 tackles, doesn't tell the complete story. He's set that physical tone, he's set the momentum for this team. He's our Heineken man of the match. This is the Munster of old. This is Munster from five or six years ago where it doesn't matter if your name's on the World 15 team. If you're wearing that red shirt, you perform 10, 20% better than you do in any other. This margin now, the heaviest European defeat that the Tigers will have ever suffered. Humbled. Harrison. Williams. Andrew Conway. Brady. Keith Earls is onto it. Harrison is back. And a little knock on. He's back and he's brave. He did well to get down on the first ball and then really put his head in the way of flying boots for the second one. It's already opened up now, isn't it? It's just becoming a little bit looser, a few little kicks in behind. It's great covering, though. Let's go, guys. Rory Scannell nearly takes his head off there. He's lucky he didn't connect, isn't he? Huge surge from the Munster pack, and they're rewarded with the penalty. That's the roar for CJ Stander's appointment as man of the match. I'm just glad they everywhere, even in Lapland. I'm just glad they he didn't follow up with the guy that picked him because there would have been a massive boo straight <laughs> after it. So looking to finish with something extra, perhaps. Three minutes left to play. Apologies for the language you may have just heard. Six, six, six. Peter Omani, who yet again has been at the heart of things for Munster. It's gone forwards, though, in the process of the transferal. What a man to have in your camp, David Wallace. Yeah. Peter Omani, do you just know you're going to get 100% every single time he goes on the field? It matters so much to him. Yeah, he was a big missing part of the jigsaw last year, and uh, you know, we're so, so happy to have him back. He obviously suffered that horrific injury in the World Cup, and... Basically, basically lost the season um, and he's been brilliant he's a leader and uh, you know off the pitch and on the pitch and, and just the physicality he brings you know he's 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 one of those totems for, 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 for Munster and, and Ireland you know and, and you know when you have you know as you say you know when you have him in your team you know you know what you're gonna get Luke Hamilton sizing up Williams and dispatching him Harrison Not quite with the distance he was after, but uh, for now they'll just be happy to be outside the 22. 
Yeah, he's impressed since he's come on, Luke Hamilton. He's he's been very aggressive. You know, he's been very physical. He's been around the park. I think that that head of blonde hair as well, jumping around the place, so you know, sets him off a bit as well. And, um, a bit like a a back row Simon Gagan maybe of old. But um, yeah, he's he's been impressive, impressive since he came on. Loose and Back in. Williams and Brady are having to operate with red shirts everywhere. Just about enough bodies arriving for Leicester, who are trapped deep inside their 22 with 30 seconds of the match remaining. A match in which they've been completely outclassed. One last hefty boot from Owen Williams. Here's Conway. The ball lost forwards and away into touch as well. And that is it. An absolute thumping for the Leicester Tigers and another masterclass from Munster. Another superlative European outing. And the tributes on the pitch to Anthony Foley just keep on flowing. Two from two in pool one and with a game in hand. They are driving this pool. That is the heaviest margin of defeat for the Tigers in their European history, in their proud European history. But you can't argue with it, David Wallace. Munster better in every single department. Absolutely. I think that first half, they, you know, they just got on the right side of the referee and kept that scoreboard ticking over, Tyler Blinn and all, and on the pitch as well, you know, just, just steering them into the right parts of the pitch. But the second half as well, they just came out and, uh, and Leicester went at them, but, but Munster just withheld it and, and uh, you found their opportunities and, and uh, you know, got that bonus point. So very good position in the home domestically, top of the table and, and now 10 points from, from two games in Europe. Very good position in those tables and also mentally on the pitch and off the pitch well Leicester humbled simply humble but they have the luxury of a quick turnaround to try and restore some pride against Munster next week I said on rugby tonight at the start of the season I thought it could be a big year for Munster they've got some great names and they've got that great old Munster ethos back and they've got it back in spades they hunt like a pack and when they get on top of you they destroy you they are now one of the favorites yet again for this tournament a brilliant performance, a truly brilliant performance whilst the Tigers' challenge is all but over for another year. This, of course, coupled with that defeat to Glasgow away means they are...